Okay guys, I have already put a base coat on here. I'm just popping air bubbles currently. And I have had this color combination in my head for a while and it's just been kind of stuck on me what color to put with it. So the colors that I love together are, this is naphthalene, uh, naphthal red, I probably said it wrong, red, um, and I added, which is actually an orange, and I added a little bit of red to it, and this turquoise green. There's a turquoise blue and a turquoise green. So I liked those colors, and that's the predominant path that I'm going. I have a little bit of sky blue. I don't know if I'm going to use it yet. I have some copper to go with the uh, orange -ish color, and I have this light pink, and I don't know if that's going to work with this either, but it, it's a really soft palette, and so I had some, uh, some um, what is this, blue violet to put with it. Looks maybe a little bit thick, but we'll go with it. So I have my layer of white down. I'm just going to do kind of a swirly pattern, I think. And I'm going to start with the, oh yeah, that's really thick. Oop, that one is definitely thick. That's all I'm using of that one. That may not blow that well. Um, so I think I'll go with my orange next. I debated using a little bit of, yeah, ooh. <laughs> How does this always happen to me? <laughs> oh God, that tickled me. Okay. I always try to be so careful and then I talk to you and then see that happens every time. Oh, here comes this pink. Okay, maybe I'll do the pink like that. I don't know how that pink is gonna go. My orange looks like it's a little bit thin. This may be a hot mess. That is bronze. Should I go with the sky blue or no? Maybe a little bit more aqua? I don't know. I mean, I gotta, tr I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try. God, these colors don't particularly look that amazing together right now. Maybe I'll be mistaken. Finish it off with a little bit of the purple and my white, which is just Amsterdam white. Okay, I have also been fiddling with this blow dryer because on small Dutch pours, this blow dryer works great. On larger Dutch pours, this blow dryer does not work so great because this condenser here, when you put it on low, it doesn't blow that hard. But when you put it on high, it's too high. But I did find the cool button, if you guys can see it, it's right here. And so I thought maybe just on a corner I could blow it and see. It's gonna be on high, but I'm gonna turn it to cool and see if that blows, how that blows. So I'm gonna blow the white over, I think, that way. It's like screamingly loud. I'm sorry. Um, so I think I, ooh, look at these cells already popping up everywhere. So I do like the medium speed, which the cool turns down the high. Look at that fly that just landed in there. I hope you're happy. You died a good death there, buddy. Sorry. Okay, so I think I'm just gonna kind of wispy blow this out and we'll see what happens. I really love this, but that bronze is looking a little brown to me, which is, ugh, I don't know. All right. to do you guys I, I still am jury is still out on that blow dryer right there I like this I just want it to be a little bit kind of wispier along here it kind of looks very um patterny right now 
I do like the colors. I'm glad I put that sky blue in there. Um, the bronze is gonna come out like a metallic color. The purple is almost nowhere to be seen. I can see it, it's right under here, but I'm just gonna blow for a little bit. There's that purple. A lot of colors that are under here. Add a lot of paint on the canvas. All right, I'm gonna keep blowing. I may fast forward through this and then I'll show you guys the dried result. So all I'm doing here is just blowing out to try to get some of the purple really to come through. And as I'm blowing, I'm really just not liking what's happening with my mouth either. So now I'm trying to blow it out with the blow dryer. <laughs> you know, sometimes you just fiddle and it's just, it's too much. Like you should have just stopped and been happy with it. So now at this point, I have completely put too much color everywhere on the canvas. And now I'm just trying to kind of blow some of the color off and get some of that white back because you guys know I like the white negative space that's there, but it's a process. So now after I blew that out, I really didn't want those parts there. So I'm just putting some more white back on the canvas and hopefully when I blow with the blow dryer again, it'll create kind of the wispy effect that I want. And then I think probably the same thing up on this corner over here. I think I'm gonna scrape a little bit of that and blow a little bit of that. It's actually really easy to kind of repair, you know, all is not lost when you're working this way. So it's just, you just got to kind of work on it and make it what you want, make it the way that you want it to look. And that's what I had to do here. Okay guys, so here it is, um, let me see. And I must say, I do like it now. I sat, I stared at this for <laughs> quite some time. It was, it was tough to begin with and I didn't like it. I scraped it a bunch. I was just gonna scrape the entire thing and start over again, but I did like some parts. So. I love this color combination and that's why I started this this whole thing. I could have probably done with just that color combination and been totally fine. Um, this part right here got a little bit muddy for me, this purple with that copper. Um, and so I might actually try to go in and soften this just a little bit with a brush. Um, I'll just have to kind of, I'm going to stare at it for a little bit longer and see. I love the copper effect that I got down here. You guys can see that metallic copper everywhere. Yeah, so the blue, this side, I wish was a little bit more like this side, but overall, you know, I've been kind of hard on myself lately. Overall, I really do enjoy the piece. So, you guys, it's just, it's all a learning experience. And I feel like the last week or so, I've been having a lot of learning experiences, but I put myself through it, so hopefully you guys can learn something from it too, you know? But I really do, I love this bottom part down here. And the pink, I don't know if you guys can see it, this was like the one show up of the pink in the entire 
piece. But yeah, I think that upper corner, that's the only part I'm going to try to fix. I don't know, it, it's kind of balanced here and down here with the dark parts, but that is just a, where's my finger? That right there is just a little bit, a uh, little bit too much for me, but we'll see. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Yep, bit painting. Bye.